Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Silka Matone Grande bike saddlebag. While most bike photos on Instagram or other social media websites rarely have them installed, saddlebags are an essential accessory for every cyclist. It's a great way to carry extra gear, tubes, repair kits, and food on rides in a very convenient way. What we have here today is the latest version of Silka's Matone bag. This is known as the Matone Grande, and you can see it's quite a bit larger than the original version, but still carries that similar design scheme. Now, Matone is actually Italian for brick, so this is the bigger brick, as the Grande term refers to it. Now, in terms of packaging, it's very simple. You have a cardboard backing and the BOA strap actually used to attach it to the cardboard back as you would attach it to your bike. So go ahead and take it off that cardboard and go over the specs. So retail price on this is $55. It's only $5 more than the standard Matone back. So not that much more for almost triple the capacity. It's 77 cc and they claim it can do up to three road tire tubes with extra gear or two mountain bike tubes and then the essential repair kit uh, on top of that. You have a BOA closure system, and this uses their Haptone strap. This is actually available separately for about $30. So you can use this to really carry anything and has a nice pan and BOA uh, design. It's a pull to release, no micro loosening, just a full release. It is uh, 150 millimeters by 90 by 55. So pretty nice, large size with a high vis red interior so you can really spot everything really quickly and it's fully waterproof with a ykk waterproof zipper as well so you can see that little rubber coating on top of it and again this strap is available separately so you can also take this off the back and then use it to carry out anything else so small gear so if you're on a shorter ride you can use it separately and then if you're on a longer ride attach it to that in terms of what comes with it essentially you get the strap which you would put around the back and then the bag itself. Now let's take a look at the weight of the silica bag. We have the strap already attached to it and that comes in at 108 grams, so fairly light. Now let's go over the fin finish of the silica bag. As the name implies, this is a bigger brick. So simple rectangular design, nothing too fancy, all black finish. You have slight gray finish on the zippers. This rubberized coating on the main body portion and then this diamond print fabric on the front face with the Silica logo. So sleek looking, they don't offer any other colors. And the really only splash of color here is the BOA cable, which is in red. So a nice little package and still pretty compact. So this should tuck up pretty nicely underneath your saddle. What's cool about this is they've introduced the BOA dial. Typically these just use Velcro straps and those get kind of worn down over time. And they're pretty annoying to use. So with the BOA dial, you get the nice tightening. It is not the latest version of the BOA dial. It uses the uh, one direction. So you can only tighten. And then for release, you pull up. And it's a full release. So no micro loosening as you'll get with higher end shoes. This strap goes underneath. And again, this is available separately for about $30. You can use this with other gear. Nice rubber coating all the way through. So it won't scratch anything. And you can see even the back of the a uh, little closure of the plastic is protected with that little rubber. So nice design, pretty simple. And when you open that and pull it out of the way, you can access a zipper. This goes all the way around and you can see it's simple to open, waterproof, so you don't have to worry about rainy days. And then our favorite part here is the nice high-vis red interior. A lot of companies just do flat black and you end up losing things in here. So you can see nice and large, you have quite a bit of distance here so you can stack multiple tires and other gear. It's not too long, so you can't put a wrench in here, for example, but for smaller multi-tool snacks, easily fit. In terms of storage, you have one big pocket here, and then you have a pocket on the front door, along with a little smaller pocket uh, right next to it. So you can see this is great for keys or cash. I always recommend carrying a little cash. You don't know when you'll need it. So that little front pocket is perfect for that and then the second pocket for the other pieces. It would have been nice to see like a mesh holder here. Uh, otherwise you do have to be careful when you open this, things will fall out. So you definitely want to take it off the bike before you open it. So now let's see what the silica can actually hold. I've taken the saddlebag off my bike, the Topeak Burrito Pack, and we'll transfer the contents over. 
So you can see the burrito pack has three separate pockets. Nice high-vis yellow interior. And it's a little bit bulkier than the Silka. So obviously you want tubes. The Tuba Light is a really nice tube. You can see super compact. So compared to a standard inner tube, uh, it's a great option. I really like carrying it just for backup. And they are quite expensive. So something you can just use as backup and then repack it for the next time. So you can see three tubes, no problem, especially with the tiny tuba light. We'll take our little tool and we can put that in the door. We have a little Topeak mini tool as well. So we can just throw that on top, a little repair kit. And then let's see what else we got. A little emergency card. So throw that in the door. Uh, you can see, so that should be about it. There's also money, so I always recommend carrying some money too. You never know when you'll need some cash, so a little $20 bill, and that's what this little pocket is great for. So you can see that's perfect for a spare key or something small like money or a little emergency card. So you can see, still plenty of space here. I could put another tube if I wanted to, or more tools, or even snacks. And we close it up. You can see it doesn't really bulge out or anything, nice compact form factor. Now let's take a look at the Silica Matone bag on the bike. Here it is on our specialized tarmac. You can see it's a good looking combination. So it fits pretty well. And because of the smaller size, even with the Grande, it sits right underneath your saddle rails for a nice clean look. Unlike another saddle bag, bigger ones which might hang lower. It only has that single mounting location too with the strap that goes around so you don't have anything on your seat post for a cleaner look. It's a pretty simple design, obviously it looks like a brick and it's just a rectangle. So not much going on here. It's black with this almost leather-like appearance. Silica logo on the Haplon strap and then the BOA dial. Now to access it, you can sort of use it while it's on the bike. So you can see I can reach in, grab something from the door. But obviously you need to take it off the bike if you want to pull larger items out. That's one downside to this versus a normal saddlebag, which would have a zipper on the rear instead of the bottom. So it's kind of a hybrid. And we also would have liked to see some kind of taillight uh, strap here or something on the rear that would be a little more useful. Now to take it off, that's a little bit more annoying with the bow dial. So you have to pull down, pull the wire off the hook. And that can be a little bit annoying. And then wrap it up and through. So you can see now I have it off. Uh, looks pretty good when it's off the bike. You can see it gets some dirt, but just wipes off. Then you can open it and access whatever you need. So you can see I have everything I need in here. And then when you're done, you just put it back on and then wrap the strap through your rails. This is again, a little bit more tedious than a simple Velcro strap because you do have to line up the wire with the wire uh, hook. So that strap takes a little bit more time, but otherwise pretty nice product and a little sleeker than a normal saddle bag. Now still a little comparison between the Silica saddlebag and other saddlebags on the market. There's actually two main designs when it comes to saddlebags. You have the saddle roll, which actually roll together. You have the standard saddlebag like this Evoc with the back opening. And that actually just connects to the back on your saddle rail and your seat post and then a nice big opening behind it. And then you have this sort of hybrid with the Silica Matone which essentially combines the fact that you have to remove from the bike to actually access it with a compact form factor. So with the saddle roll design, you can get this in different flavors. This is the burrito pack from Topeak. Actually one of our favorites, something we have on our main bike. So really compact fabric design and it rolls together. There's also the BOA versions of this. This is the Calm Cycling one. This has an A-top dial. So very similar to a BOA, just different company. Uh, same tightening and then to do a release it's a rotating the other way it's a little more uh, intuitive than having to pull up uh, you can see one downside to this design is it still uses velcro to sort of, sort of secure it together and then it rolls together so you can see you have three pockets on the inside and then this folding design so you close it and then roll it together so the downside to this is although it's pretty sleek and you can see once it's fully closed, it looks a lot sleeker than your standard big saddlebag. You actually have to kind of disassemble it to use it. 
And then even though it has a bow dial, it still has the Velcro to sort of uh, elastic to hold it together. So a similar design here where this kind of hooks in and attaches to that uh, plastic tab. With the Silca, obviously you get the same kind of design, the little hook where it goes around. A little bit simpler, it's just the wire here. And you have to remember to pull up and then around to take off the strap. So downside to this with the Silca is that you have to do the same kind of disassembly to get to it. And because it's upside down, I definitely don't want to just open this up completely. Nothing's falling out. You can open up slightly and reach in, uh, but it doesn't have a rear facing pocket. That's the nice thing about a traditional bag. So where the Silca would be kind of focused like that, be hanging off your saddle. This one has larger capacity, the Evoc, and it has a rear pocket. So rather than having everything fall out, you can just open it up and then you can see you have full access and because it's kind of rear mounted, nothing will really fall out. So you can reach in. You don't have to take it off the bike every time you need it. Uh, with the Silica, you do, uh, but you can see this one uses Velcro straps, both on the top and then the back to prevent them from swaying. With the BOA enclosure of the Silica, you don't actually have to worry about that. You can really tighten this down and it's a smaller design, so you won't be carrying as much or heavier weight like you would with a larger saddlebag. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Matone Grande. What we like about it is it has a BOA dial instead of traditional Velcro strap, so it's easier to clean and easier to use. You also have a premium construction that Silica is known for with a very simple design. We also like the high visibility red interior lining, which makes it really easy to spot items and organize things. Some of the cons for the bag is the fact that there are no color options and only comes in the black with the red wire. It also lacks a strap for mounting a taillight on the rear, which would be pretty useful, especially for a saddlebag. Taking everything into account, we'd give the Silica Mentone Grande a 9.1 out of 10. It's a very simple yet well-built saddlebag. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride. <laughs>